hello, would you like a free modded account or a free Xbox One? All you got to do to win this is subscribe to my channel like this, turn notifications on, and make sure you click send me all notifications because I'm going to be releasing all the information about these giveaways. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to be giving away a modded account on this very video. When this video reaches 2,000 likes, I'm going to be pinning a funny comment, and it's going to be someone who subscribed to me and has notifications on, and trust me, we can check that. So yeah, make sure you're entered to win, and I look forward to helping out the community because you guys helped me get over 35,000 subscribers. Hell yeah. Also, we're going to be giving away the Xbox on September 1st, 2017, and it's going to be a big giveaway, and I'm going to make a video just about it announcing the winner. Thank you so much like and subscribe and enjoy this money glitch and get rich yo what up youtube it's me again money glitch oh. and today we finna be talking about one of the most infamous subjects in gta online and that is obviously the casino and i know what you guys are thinking right now hey that's fake money glitch guy they're never opening the casino well before you get any further with the help of the infamous mr boss for the win and definitely with the help of because you can check it out on twitter he approved this message before i made this video so it's all good but with the help from mr boss with a win he has accessed some of steam's audio files and he has uncovered martin madrazo lester franklin i mean lamar everybody in the game saying hey get over to the casino it's opening up really soon so they have a bunch of voice conversations that I'm going to play for you right now. So listen, I just heard a casino opened up in town. Apparently it's pretty fun. Maybe you want to check it out. Have you been to the casino? I hear it is fun and full of opportunity. Hey, it's Lester. Listen, a new casino just opened up in town. Thought it might be something you would be interested in. <laughs> Did you hear, my friend? A casino has opened. Perhaps you should investigate. So apparently there's some casino just opened. Apparently a casino opened in town. Perhaps you should invest. Okay, as you've seen, these voice conversations are super legit, unless they found everyone to sound exactly like those people, which is highly unlikely. So what does that mean? It means, ooh. Just look at this, guys. We are at the casino. It says opening soon in a banner that actually came out about a year or something after the game was released. And they are heavily considering opening this game. Now let's talk about the politics, okay? Why, if they have it recorded by all the main actors that we know of, they have scenes that are unreleased, you know what I mean? And when it was so successful with San Andreas, why have they not released this yet? So, before we talk about why they haven't released this yet, actually, let's talk about that first, and then I'll show you guys some footage of the old casinos and how it used to be, and try to discuss things and show you guys the very first unlimited money solo glitch ever in history. So, yeah, slot machines, poker, video poker, you know, all kinds of video poker or video slot machines they got here and yeah they got what do they got blackjack and they got oh nice parking ramp that's gonna be pretty cool they got blackjack which is cool as hell too and then they got dog racing so this isn't only the casino if you guys notice it's a racetrack and i'm gonna be showing you guys racetrack footage of a race from back in the day as well so this is the gambling complex, right? This is more than just a casino. It has room for people in the stands to watch betting on, on races. So the casino is just part of this complex, all right, guys? So let's get right into it. Why is the casino not out by now? Because judged on what they assumed about this game when they first released it, they didn't think GTA Online was going to be this successful with the microtransactions this late into the game. I mean, this is the first time in history that years and years after a game is out that it was still selling for $60 four years down the line. 
So that actually matters in whether the casino is open because if they're still receiving enough microtransaction and shark card money to actually um, be making money at this point, this far down the road, then it's a no wonder why they haven't actually released the casino yet because what would that do so if the odds were like they used to be which i'm going to show you at the end if the odds were like they used to be then you would get your then you would get your money and they would stop making shark card money basically instantaneously or the solution for that is or the other thing for that is if they actually released it and didn't or if they had the odds where it was like it used to be if they had the odds where it's like it used to be where oh okay how about this if they had the odds like real life then it would be even worse because you would be looking at a situation where people would be basically buying shark card money with real money and if that is the case then if they were addicted to playing this game and there would be a, a basically a conversion rate at that point and that technically makes it illegal um, but even besides that I think the bigger problem is that people would be addicted to trying to win on GTA because the, a lot of people's social lives take place completely on this game and the thing about that is if a lot of people start living their social life in here it becomes more their priority to look good on GTA than it does in real life. So you can find a situation to where people are losing their real life money and ruining their own life because GTA has to make sure they protect their money. So they, there's a really dangerous dynamic that could happen because of this shit. So that's basically how I feel. I feel like there's a like it could be way worse than a good thing okay so I think that's why the casino isn't open right now and I think when they do release it it will not be in efforts to make any money so it would be when shark cards don't matter anymore and obviously they've been developing GTA 6 behind the scenes they got some voice actors saying that they've been working on it on their resume and they got all kinds of stuff going on that's way more legit than the Fernando speculation you know so the cool thing about this is, is that the casino, in my opinion, will be opened. That's my opinion, okay? And it will be open towards the final DLC, okay? It will be probably the final DLC. Oh, some Frogger action. It'll either be the frog, the final DLC or it will be the second to last one because I think either the casino will open up at the same time as the stock market online and then after that happens it will be after that happens then it's gonna be all about the fucking hold on let me get a good screenshot after that it'll be all about the mansions and things you can buy with billions so hopefully there can be like one or two things per session that a billionaire can own or something I don't know but yeah, I'm just really excited about the potential for the casino whenever it does happen. And obviously that means that, obviously that's gonna mean that, um, that the game is coming to an end for them selling shark card money. So it's gonna be a gift and a curse when we start seeing casino promos from some rock star. And, and then I kinda wanna ask you guys, so I'm gonna leave you guys with some footage of of myself going through the old games that had casinos and stuff and then I want to hear you guys in the comment section about how you think a casino could help or hurt GTA online if and when it is ever released you know what I mean so that's basically all I have to say at this point about the casino and everything that's gonna go along with it I hope that, you know, I like playing video poker myself. Shout out to Aaron Stevenson for subbing to me. But I like playing um, video poker. I like playing poker. So if we have poker in this game, that would be awesome. And before we ever get these, like, finalizing 
I would like to see a combat update where we can like fight better, you know what I mean? I would like to see the Tuners and Outlaws update where you can actually be the police officers and things like that. You feel me? So that's what I'm looking forward to everybody when it comes to when it comes to the casino and everything like that, all right? So you guys take care of yourself. I'm putting together this video. It's me again, Money Glitch God. And I'm about to show y'all what horse racing, blackjack, video, video slot machines, and you know all that shit look like, all right? So check it out. Here it is. Place your bet, sir. Some guy's fooling around with my wife. So yeah, here we go, the blackjack table. Things we'll like this that. is just stuff that Please we just want to have in the game just to be able to play the mini games. They got blackjack, they got Outlet. video poker, video place slot bet, machines, sir. roulette. You get to place your bets. 21. They need something like this in the game, you know. Too bad that they have blackjack. real money now and bet, micro sir. purchases in the game now. Seven or seventeen. Which makes the legality of being able to do it very um, crazy. But I believe they will do it. This is what I think. When the new game is coming out and the next console is about to be released, like I said before, man, they're going to release this as the last DLC ever because they're not going to care about making shark card money anymore and they're going to be worried about the new GTA. So we're going to be able to have this and a lot of other cool stuff around that time is what I think. So let's check out some of the other games and stuff. Show a little respect. And here's how the slot machines looked. Obviously it would look way better and I really personally enjoy video poker, video slot machines, bar, bar, bar. I think these days they could do it a lot better. Look at that, $50,000 he just won right there. Like we said before, they're not going to do this while they're selling shark cards. Five grand for that. But he got bar, bar, bar the last one. I think that they just need to make it incredibly hard to win on the new one. I think that would solve all the problems in the world. Think about it. If only like one in a hundred thousand people online really made like a fifty million dollar jackpot, I think that would be more realistically a casino and shark card sales will increase. What do you guys think? So yeah, now on the way to the horse track to show you guys horse track betting. Horse track betting was legit. AF on San Andreas is the actual truth. So yeah, now I'm making our way over to show you guys yet another gambling game that had a pretty good payout back in the day. And the reason that they don't offer anything near this these days is because... A, gambling is addictive whether you're winning money or not and you people would just play poker all day instead of even doing any missions ever and B, um, they need to actually make money, you know what I'm saying? So they can't be giving people 50 million dollars when they would otherwise be buying a shark card. So here we are arriving at the Greyhound horse betting track. I wish they brought all this back, man. These, This is what made GTA great, and this is why we all have it these days. So going on to Bishop Basher, we got Fish Supper, <laughs> Pygmy's Coke, <laughs> Donner's, Bishop Basher's on the lane. Here's going on. We got Bishop Dog Food as a Lone Star. Just don't do it. We got Bishop Basher on the bottom. It was sold to whatever I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, I heard some funny ass fucking comments on this game, man. Way back then, they had some. Oh, we got Bishop coming across the line. Fish Summer coming in second. We want some major money. Look at that, guys. 27,000. Let's see where it stops at. Is that it? That's all we bet? Alright, so there you go, guys. You see what I mean. Fucking win some money betting and shit. I'm gonna take this over to uh, Benny's and give me some hydraulics put on it. Like and subscribe.
And here we have the roulette table with the infamous one of the first money glitches ever. Okay, this is one of the first money glitches ever in Grand Theft Auto. Look at that. Winner, $800,000. So all you do is put one coin on each one of these. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. No more bets, people. Now watch this. Red, seven. Winner! So yeah. Pay out. I won 144 grand that time. This is how you absolutely, if you ever throw the game back in, but they had gambling in the game, man, and you'd be able to um, maximize your ways to make money. So, yeah. Let's go. What do you guys think? We're going to win or what? Wiener. Red, 14. Bam. So, there you have it.